reading this morning is from Matthew 5, verses 43 through 48. Matthew 5, verse 43. You have heard that it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which desp- despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward you have you? Do even the publicans do the same? And if you salute your brethren only, what do you do more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. In the holy roar of God
As I was thinking about what to talk about in regards to the communion this morning, uh, I was thinking about how, you know, in this life we're all on a journey, and um, when we become a Christian, as we make that journey, hopefully we become closer and closer to God, but even even though we become closer, we still sin, and that's where Jesus comes in and and takes that sin away. Um, if you would, read with me in Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 through 6. It says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. And we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. First Corinthians chapter 11, starting at verse 23. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread, and we had when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever eats, therefore, eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty concerning the body and the blood of the Lord. Let a person examine himself then, and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body eats and drinks judgment on himself. You pray with me. Dear Lord, as we partake this bread which represents your body we just pray that you will help us remember back upon that cross and the suffering of the perfect lamb of god suffered to take away our sins and dear lord we just pray that you will help us do so in a manner well pleasing in thy sight in jesus name we pray amen Dear Lord, as we come to you again in prayer, we just pray that as we partake of this fruit of the vine, which represents to us Christians the blood that shed and was shed on the cross and washed us free from our sins, we pray that we will take it in a manner well pleasing thy sight and that we will live each day for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.